step into the realm of Lumen Spiritus, the light of spirit, a channel dedicated to exploring spirituality and the esoteric. Join us on a journey of enlightenment and discovery as we delve into the mysteries of the unseen. In this video, we explore the fascinating world of the inner earth. Could our planet actually be hollow with a completely hidden inner world that's been talked about only in legends and personal testimonies? Let's explore together the breathtaking realm of Agatha. This video is going to be packed with fascinating and thought-provoking insights, so feel free to hit pause or give it a second watch to really soak in the info. Also, explore further insights, book links, and top 10 videos from Lumen Spiritus in the video description below. Have you ever heard that theory that our Earth might actually be hollow, with an inner sun at its core? This is a question that has intrigued thinkers, explorers, and even scientists for centuries. The concept of a hollow Earth is a fascinating one, and it's rooted in a theory about planetary formation. The theory suggests that as planets form, their rotation causes the harder materials to solidify and form the crust. Meanwhile, the inside remains hollow, potentially even housing an inner sun. This idea has been proposed and explored in various pieces of literature. For instance, in Journey to the Center of the Earth, Jules Verne explores this very concept in a fictional setting, capturing the imagination of millions. However, this is not the only viewpoint. Mainstream science has a different perspective on the Earth's inner structure. It suggests that the Earth's core is solid and hot, composed of iron and nickel. This idea is based on seismic data and the understanding of how the Earth's magnetic field is generated. While these two theories seem to be at odds, it's important to approach them with an open mind. After all, science is a field that thrives on questioning, exploring and understanding the unknown. So it's worth delving into both theories and examining the evidence that supports them. In At the Earth's Core, Edgar Rice Burroughs takes us on a fictional journey to a hollow Earth. And in Cosmos, Carl Sagan provides a scientific perspective on our planet's inner structure. These contrasting views give us a unique opportunity to explore the enigma of inner Earth from different angles. Remember, the truth often lies somewhere in the middle. So let's not dismiss the hollow Earth theory outright, nor let's accept the solid core theory without question. Instead, let's embrace the mystery and the learning journey it offers. So, we have two contrasting theories about the Earth's inner structure, but what if the hollow Earth houses an advanced civilization? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this intriguing possibility in the next part of our journey. Imagine continents beneath our feet, thriving with an advanced civilization. Welcome to the world of Agatha. Now, what if I told you that deep within the Earth's crust, there are continents that are not just a figment of fantasy, but tangible locations mentioned in numerous ancient texts and modern pseudoscientific theories. Yes, that's the fascinating world of Agatha we're delving into. Agatha, as some legends suggest, is a hidden city in the Earth's core, a concept that has intrigued minds for centuries. It's not just an isolated city, but an entire network of subterranean cities connected through vast tunnel systems. A captivating idea, isn't it? These theories about Agatha find their roots in ancient folklore and religions. For instance, Tibetan Buddhism holds the belief of Shambhala, a mythical kingdom within the earth. Similarly, Greek mythology mentions Hades, the underworld, and Hindu texts describe Patala, a subterranean realm. In more contemporary literature, authors like Alexandra Saint-Yves d'Alvedra and Willis George Emerson have painted vivid pictures of Agatha in their works. In his book, The Smoky God, Emerson describes a journey to the Earth's interior filled with advanced civilizations and strange creatures. Likewise, Saint-Yves, in his book Mission of India in Europe, introduces Agatha as a hidden subterranean world governed by a sovereign pontiff, the Brahmatma. But Agatha isn't the only city alleged to exist beneath the Earth's crust. There's Shonshi, a refuge of the Uyghur Empire, and Petiti, an Incan city of gold, among others. These cities, as per the theories, might be technologically advanced, far beyond surface civilizations, harnessing the power of the inner sun and living in harmony with the earth. Spiritually, these civilizations are believed to be more evolved, having transcended the constraints of the three-dimensional world we know, reaching a higher vibrational state termed as the fifth density. So what if our understanding of the earth is just the tip of the iceberg? What if beneath our feet there are thriving civilizations waiting to be discovered? 
Could these subterranean cities be the cradle of a fifth density civilization? What if there exists a civilization that has transcended our physical realm and lives in the fifth density? A notion quite hard to grapple with, isn't it? But let's delve into this fascinating concept. The fifth density, as proposed by some theorists, represents a dimension where beings have evolved beyond our physical constraints. These entities are believed to be more spiritually advanced, having transcended the physical realm. This implies a state of existence where consciousness isn't tethered to the physical world as we know it. Instead, it's a realm of pure thought and energy. Various literature sources propose this theory. For instance, the Law of One series by Ra Material delves into the concept of fifth density beings. These beings, as per the books, have achieved a state of wisdom and light, having moved past our earthly concerns of material existence. The intriguing part is that these beings could be the advanced civilization of the inner earth, living in cities like Agatha, as per some theories. They are thought to have reached a level of technological and spiritual advancement far beyond our comprehension. But as with any theory, there are alternative viewpoints that challenge this concept. Skeptics argue that such advanced beings, if they exist, would have made their presence known to us. They question why such a civilization would choose to remain hidden. It's a valid counterpoint and adds another layer of intrigue to this mystery. While the concept of a fifth density civilization might seem abstract, it's an idea that has been explored in various philosophical and metaphysical texts. It challenges our understanding of reality and pushes us to think beyond our physical existence. I encourage you to explore both theories, delve into the literature and form your own opinion. The journey promises to be as fascinating as the destination. Whether you believe in the hollow earth theory or not, it indeed stirs our imagination and makes us wonder about the endless possibilities. Intrigued by the mysteries of the inner earth, there's much more to delve into. To continue this fascinating exploration, I recommend a few exceptional books. Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne, a classic that sparks the imagination. Subterranean Worlds, a critical anthology by Peter Fitting, delves into hollow earth theories throughout history. For a more modern take, Hollow Earth, the long and curious history of imagining strange lands, fantastical creatures, advanced civilizations, and marvelous machines below the Earth's surface, by David Standish, provides a comprehensive look at the concept of a hollow Earth. I encourage you all to dig deeper into these theories. Perhaps you have read a book or article that has piqued your interest in this topic. If so, do share it. Your insights and discoveries are valuable contributions to this ongoing conversation. There is a plethora of fascinating and mind-bending topics coming to our channel, so don't forget to subscribe to Lumen Spiritus and hit the notification bell for even more captivating mysteries. Let us know which topic you'd like us to explore next.